is Sonia. Thank you for being here on my channel. You guys know every single day I sit in my studio here and I create. It's going to be an example of sometimes how I sit down and what I start with is not what I finish with because the creative mind is a wonderful thing. Okay, We get ideas and that is the beauty of what we do. We're always sizing it up and we've always got a couple different things that we can do and sometimes it happens before you create and you have that aha idea and sometimes it happens as you're going. So today I started off with a mirror. I'm gonna insert that right here to show you. I am delighted to say one of my neighboring shops actually shared with me a box of junk. This mirror was into it. We're gonna add a little bit of our Junk Monkey Chucky style paint, sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. And we're gonna transform it into a shabby chic mirror into something a little bit extra. Cause we like to be extra. I am reaching into my Don't Make Me Blue Blush. Don't make me blush, baby. And I've loaded up my shabby chip brush. All the supplies that I use here in my vlog, you will find them linked below or just head over to junkmonkeypaint.com. Ooh, look how pretty that is already, right? You just find the most plain mirrors and then you just give them some color. I think this stencil is gonna be perfect. Paint those hearts. Now we got pink, gray, and black going on. And next up, I'm gonna finish off with our metallic paint and sealer all in one. So we play with our Don't Make Me Blush, we play with our black velvet, and with Pete. At one point I was adding hearts onto the mirror, and, but as I was finishing up, it occurred to me that I had this beautiful pink and gray paper, a sheet of paper that I've been holding on for the perfect, for the perfect project. And then it hit me decided to scrap what I was doing and take the mirror in a whole other direction, which actually meant giving it a whole new life. You know what? I think I'm going to turn this into a cute little soap caddy. I've been saving this pink distressed piece and it's got some really pretty florals in here. Can you see it? And honestly, I really think today is the day that we should just up the game and we should just veer off and do what my brain, what my gut says we should do. All right, idea number two for the mirror. This is a white piece of tissue paper, and this is how I cheat. I press it in with my nails. It will actually leave the indentation of the shape. And now we cut. We flipped our scrapbook paper over, and now we're just gonna quickly map out the rough shape of it. Awesomeness, and now we cut. I like to cut on the inside of my trace line. So let's go ahead and grab our Mod Podge. Just get it as centered as much as possible. Go back into our Mod Podge. It will be sealed. Think of it like a sandwich, the paper's in between because the Mod Podge is on the bottom, the Mod Podge is on the top, and everything is just gonna suck down nice and flat and really pull it into the mirror. And of course, this dries clear. So now we just wait. I've got some areas around right here that I kinda wanna hide. So I'm gonna go back into my metallic paint and sealer all in one. And now what I'm gonna do is basically do a nice brush around the edges. So it gives it a nice soft edge in the inside. I could do this with black, I could do this with pink. Nice. Ultimately, the best sealer you're gonna use is gonna be the banana peel. So let's let this dry, and then I'm just gonna put a clear coat of banana peel over the top of it. I could also use my metallic peat there if I wanted to, the metallic champagne sealer. But I'm look, I really like the look of this, um, this paper in here, so I don't wanna hide any of the beautiful detail that it has. Yes, you can put banana peel on top of your Mod Podge, and it's gonna give it a nice, strong seal. Yay, everything is nice and dry at this point. So here is how I'm gonna use mine. I'm gonna bring it into my bathroom in there. I put down my soap pump, cute, right there. I know mine still has a Santa Claus on it, still need to make use of him. Question of the day, do you buy your soap pumps for the color or do you buy your soap pumps for the smell? Or third option, you really don't care. All right, so let's go ahead and put our roses right here. You could put like your hairspray, you could put your you know, air freshener, you could put your soap pump, you could put your makeup on here or anything like that. And now it has this cute little tray, which we love. Like how cute is that? Everything's got a home. Marie Kondo is gonna be so happy with us. I couldn't be happier with where we are now. I think this mirror is perfect. Yes, you could use it upright as part of a gallery wall and in, in a traditional sense of what a mirror is, but I have to tell you, this is a pretty mirror. Like it's a pretty mirror, but it's a pretty heavy mirror. And it's also a pretty ornate one, which is beautiful. and has that sort of wall right here. It gives a perfect cubby feel. I just want you to know that when you make and you paint and you create, sometimes, you know, just doing the process, just starting the process, 
is important. It is progress over perfection, and that imperfect look comes as you go, but you gotta get started. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up, and leaving me a comment below. When you do those things, it allows me to be able to continue to make these videos for you on a daily basis, and I don't know about you, but I'd love to continue making them for you guys. So did you get some great ideas today? Let me know below, and I will see you, of course, again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look for a new upload. See you then, bye.